3 Mechanism of Photosynthesis Before 1930 it was considered by physiologists that one molecule each of CO2 and H2O form a molecule of formaldehyde, HCHO, of which 6 moles are polymerized to one molecule of glucose, a hexose sugar. 2. Deformaldehyde However formaldehyde is a toxic substance which may kill the plants. Hence, formaldehyde hypothesis could not be accepted. On the basis of discovery of Nicolas de Saussure that the amount of O2 released from plants is equal to the amount of CO2 absorbed by plants, it was considered that O2 released in photosynthesis comes from CO2, but Rubin proved that this concept is wrong. In 1930, C. B. Van Neel proved that, sulfur bacteria use H2S, in place of water, and CO2 to synthesize carbohydrates as follows, so CSHCO100 and this led Van Neel to the postulation that in green plants, water, H2O, is utilized in place of H2S and O2 is evolved in place of sulfur, S. He indicated that water is electron donor in photosynthesis. 2261262 This was confirmed by Rubin and Kamen in 1941 using chlorella a green alga. They used isotopes of oxygen in water, i.e., H2A10O instead of H2O, normal, and noticed that liberated oxygen contains A10O of water and not of CO2. The overall reaction can be given as under. Ohokoko 2218 The fate of different molecules can be summarized as follows 226 5.4 Modern Concept of Photosynthesis Photosynthesis is an oxidation reduction process in which water is oxidized to release O2 and CO2 is reduced to form starch and sugars. Scientists have shown that photosynthesis is completed in two phases. Light phase or photochemical reactions or light-dependent reactions or Hill's reactions. During this stage energy from sunlight is absorbed and converted to chemical energy which is stored in ADP and NADF and H+. Dark phase or chemical dark reactions or light independent reactions or Blackman reaction or biosynthetic phase, during this stage carbohydrates are synthesized from carbon dioxide using the energy stored in the ADP and NAD formed in the light dependent reactions. Evidence for light and dark reactions in photosynthesis Evidences in favor of light and dark phases in photosynthesis are, physical separation of chloroplast into grana and stroma fractions, it is now possible to separate grana and stroma fractions of chloroplast. If light is given to grana fraction in presence of suitable H acceptor and in complete absence of CO2, then ADP and NADF2 are produced, i.e., assimilatory powers. If these assimilatory powers, ADP and NADF2, are given to stroma fraction in presence of CO2 and absence of light, then carbohydrates are formed. Fig. Fat of different molecules. Experiments with intermittent light or discontinuous light, rate of Scientists have shown that Experiments with intermittent Experiments with intermittent light or discontinuous light, rate of photosynthesis is faster in intermittent light, alternate light and dark periods, than in continuous light. It is because light reaction is much faster than dark reaction, so in continuous light, 
there is accumulation of ADP and NADF2 and hence reduction in rate of photosynthesis but in discontinuous light, ADP and NADF2 formed in light are fully consumed during dark in reduction of CO2 to carbohydrates. Accumulation of NADF2 and ADP is prevented because they are not produced during dark periods. Temperature Coefficient Studies the temperature coefficient, Q10, is defined as the ratio of the velocity of a reaction at a particular temperature to that at a temperature 10 degrees Celsius lower. For a physical process the value of Q10 is slightly greater than 1. In photochemical reaction the energy source is light and any increase in temperature is not sufficient to cause an increase in the rate. Thus here also the value of Q10 is 1. However, in case of chemical reactions the value of Q10 is 2 or more i.e., with the rise of 10 degrees Celsius temperature, the rate of chemical reaction is doubled. If the process of photosynthesis includes a hidden chemical reaction in addition to usual photochemical reaction, its value of Q10 should be 2 or more. Blackman found that Q10 was greater than 2 in experiment when photosynthesis was rapid and that Q10 dropped from 2 often reaching unity, i.e., 1 when the rate of photosynthesis was low. These results show that in photosynthesis there is a dark reaction, Q10 more than 2, and a photochemical or light reaction, with Q10 being unity. CTCTQ a triaction, 10, off rate reaction 10, 1, light phase, photochemical reactions, light reaction occurs in grana fraction of chloroplast and in this reaction are included those activities, which are dependent on light. Assimilator E powers, ADP and NADF2 are mainly produced in this light reaction. Robin Hill, 1939, first of all showed that if chloroplasts extracted from leaves of Stellaria media and Lamium album are suspended in a test tube containing suitable electron acceptors, e.g., potassium ferroxylate, some plants require only this chemical, and potassium ferricyanide, Oxygen is released due to photochemical splitting of water. Under these conditions, no CO2 was consumed and no carbohydrate was produced, but light-driven reduction of the electron acceptors was accompanied by O2 evolution. Two product reduced to the splitting of water during photosynthesis is called photolysis. This reaction on the name of its discoverer is known as Hill reaction. Hill reaction proves that, I, in photosynthesis oxygen is released from water. 2. Electrons for the reduction of CO2 are obtained from water i.e., a reduced substance, hydrogen donor, is produced which later reduces CO2. Dichlorophenol endophenol is the dye used by Hill for his famous Hill reaction. According to Arnon, 1961, in this process light energy is converted to chemical energy. This energy is stored in ADP. This process of ADP formation in chloroplasts is known as photophosphorylation, and from electron acceptor NADP a substance which found in all living beings NADP asterisk H is formed as hydrogen donor. Formation of hydrogen donor NADF from electron acceptor NADP and is known as photoreduction or production of reducing power NADF. Light phase can be explained under the following headings, I, transfer of energy, 2, quantum yield, 3, Emerson effect, 4, 2 pigment systems, V, Z scheme, 6, cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation, I, transfer of energy, 
when photon of light energy falls on chlorophyll molecule, one of the electrons pair from ground or singlet state passes into higher energy level called excited singlet state. It comes back to whole of chlorophyll molecule within 10 to 9 seconds. This light energy absorbed by chlorophyll molecule before coming back to ground state appears as radiation energy, while that coming back from excited singlet state is called fluorescence and is temperature independent. Sometimes the electron at excited singlet state gets its spin reversed because two electrons at the same energy level cannot stay, for some time it fails to return to its partner electron. As a result it gets trapped at a high energy level. Due to little loss of energy, it stays at comparatively lower energy level, triplet state, from excited singlet state. Now at this moment, it can change its spin and from this triplet state, it comes back to ground state again losing excess of energy in the form of radiation. This type of loss of energy is called as phosphorescence. When electron is raised to higher energy level, it is called at second singlet state. It can lose its energy in the form of heat also. Migration of electron from excited singlet state to ground state along with the release of excess energy into radiation energy is of no importance to this process. Somehow when this excess energy is converted to chemical energy, it plays a definite constructive role in the process. 2. Quantum yield rate or yield of photosynthesis is measured in terms of quantum yield or O2 evolution, which may be defined as, number of O2 moles evolved per quantum of light absorbed in photosynthesis. On the other hand quantum requirement is defined as, number of quanta of light required for evolution of one mole of O2 in photosynthesis. Quantum requirement in photosynthesis equals 8, i.e., 8 quanta of light are required to evolve 1 mole of O2. Hence quantum yield equals 1 slash 8 equals 0 0.125, i.e., a fraction of 1, as 12%. 3. Emerson effect and red drop, R. Emerson and C. M. Lewis. 1943, observed that the quantum yield of photosynthesis decreased towards the far red end of the spectrum, 680 nanometers or longer. Quantum yield is the number of oxygen molecules evolved per light quantum absorbed. Since this decrease in quantum yield is observed at the far region or beyond red region of spectrum is called red drop. Emerson ETAL, 1957, further observed that photosynthetic efficiency of light of 680 nanometers or longer is increased if light of shorter wavelengths, less than 680 nanometers, is supplied simultaneously. When both short and long wavelengths were given together the quantum yield of photosynthesis was greater than the total effect when both the wavelengths were given separately. This increase in photosynthetic efficiency, or quantum yield, is known as Emerson effect or Emerson enhancement effect. Beam red for in yield quantum beam red in yield quantum beam combined in yield quantum me, 4. Two pigment systems, the discovery of Emerson effect has clearly shown the existence of two distinct photochemical processes, which are believed to be associated with two different specific group of pigments. One group of pigments absorbs light of both shorter and longer wavelengths, more than 680 nanometers and another group of pigments absorbs light of only shorter wavelengths, less than 680 nanometers. These two groups of pigments are known as pigment systems or photosystems. 
Pigment system I or photosystem I, the important pigments of this system are chlorophyll A 670, chlorophyll A 683, chlorophyll A 695, P 700. Some physiologists also include carotenes and chlorophyll B in pigment system IP700 acts as the reaction center. Thus, this system absorbs both wavelengths shorter and longer than 600 and Pigment system 2 or photosystem 2, the main pigments of this system are chlorophyll A673, P680, chlorophyll B and phycobilins. This pigment system absorbs wavelengths shorter than 680 nanometers only. P680 acts as the reaction center. Pigment systems I and II are involved in non-cyclic electron transport, while pigment system I is involved only in cyclic electron transport. Photosystem I generates strong reductant NADF. Photosystem II produces a strong oxidant that forms oxygen from water. Comparison of Photosystem I and Photosystem II S.NO Photosystem I Photosystem II, 1, PSI lies on the outer surface of the thylakoids PS2 lies on the inner surface of the thylakoid. 2. In this system molecular oxygen is not evolved. As the result of photolysis of water molecular oxygen is evolved. 3. Its reaction center is P700. Its reaction center is P680. 4. NADF is formed in this reaction. NADF is not formed in this reaction. 5. It participate both in cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation. It participate only in non-cyclic photophosphorylation. 6. It receives electrons from photosystem 2. It receives electrons from photolytic dissociation of water. 7. It is not related with photolysis of water. It is related with photolysis of water. V. Z scheme of light reactions. When sunlight strikes the thylakoid membrane, the energy is absorbed simultaneously by the antenna pigments of both PSI and PS2 and passed on to the reaction centers of both photosystems. Electrons of both reaction center pigments are boosted to an outer orbital and each photoexcited electron is transferred to a primary electron acceptor. The transfer of electrons out of the photosystems leaves the two reaction center pigments missing an electron and thus, positively charged. After losing their electrons, the reaction centers of PSI and PS2 can be denoted as P700 plus and P680 plus respectively. Positively charged reaction centers act as attractants for electrons, which sets the stage for the flow of electrons between carriers. In oxygenic photosynthesis, in which two photosystems act in series, Electron flow occurs along three legs between water and PS2, between PS2 and PSI and between PSI and NADP and an arrangement which is described as the Z scheme. The Z scheme as originally proposed by Hill and Bendel, 1960. 6. Photophosphorylation, light phase includes the interaction of two pigment systems. PSI and PS2 constitute various type of pigments. Arnon showed that during light reaction not only reduced NADP is formed and oxygen is evolved but ADP is also formed. This formation of high energy phosphates, ADP, is dependent on light hence called photophosphorylation. At B. Ad Bell Chlorophyll Light.
where ADP equals adenosine diphosphate, PI equals inorganic phosphate and ADP equals adenosine triphosphate. When the light quantum is absorbed by various types of pigments, like chlorophylls, phycobilins, carotenoids etc., it is transferred to reaction center i.e. P700 in PSI and P680 in PS2. Electrons excite from reaction centers due to funneling of energy. P700 gets photo excited and comes under first excited singlet state. As a result electron is lost, which is accepted by an electron, acceptor in the way. After absorbing light, excited electron liberated from reaction center interacts with water. Another important aspect of light reactions is the formation of ADP and NADF2, assimilatory power. H and from water and electron from chlorophyll are made available to NADP to form NADF2. The electrons are accepted by NADP after passing through electron carriers. The carriers in the way undergo oxidation and reduction and are arranged in accordance with their redox potential value. Photophosphorylation is of two types, a, cyclic photophosphorylation, it involves only PSI flow of electron is cyclic. When NADP is not available then this process will occurs. When the photons activate PSI, a pair of electrons are raised to a higher energy level. They are captured by primary acceptor which passes them on to feridoxin, plastoquinone, cytochrome complex, plastocyanin and finally back to reaction center of PSI i.e. P700. At each step of electron transfer, the electrons lose potential energy. Their trip downhill is caused by the transport chain to pump H and across the thylakoid membrane. The proton gradient, thus established is responsible for forming, two molecules, ADP. No reduction of NADP to NADF and H+. ADP is synthesized at two steps. B. Non-cyclic photophosphorylation. It involves both PSI and PS2. Flow of electron is unidirectional. Here electrons are not cycled back and are used in the reduction of NADP to NADF2. Here H2O is utilized and O2 evolution occurs. In this chain high energy electrons released from P680 do not return to P680 but pass through pheophidin plastoquinone, cytochrome B6F complex, plastocyanin, and then enter P700. In this transfer of electrons from plastoquinone, PQ, to cytochrome B6F complex, ADP is synthesized. Because in this process high energy electrons released from P680 do not return to P680 and ADP, one molecules, is formed, this is called non-cyclic photophosphorylation. ADP is synthesized at only one step. Primary accepto RFDPQ ADP Comparison of cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation S. No. Cyclic photophosphorylation non-cyclic photophosphorylation 1. No oxygen is given off, anoxygenic. Oxygen is given off, oxygenic. 2. No water is consumed. Water is used up. 3. Only one light trapping system. 
photo system I, is involved. Two light trapping systems, photo system I and two, are involved. 4. No NADF synthesized. NADF synthesized. 5. Last electron acceptor is P700. Last electron acceptor is NADP. 6. The system is found dominantly in bacteria. The system is dominant in green plants. 7. The process is not inhibited by DCMU. The process is stopped by use of DCMU. C. Pseudocyclic photophosphorylation, Arnon and his co worker, 1954, demonstrated yet another kind of photophosphorylation. They observed that even in absence of CO2 and NADP, if chlorophyll molecules are illuminated, it can produce ADP from ADP and pi, inorganic phosphate, in presence of FMN or VIT, K and oxygen. The process is thus very simple and requires no net chemical change but for the formation of ADP and water. Arnon called this oxygen-dependent FMN catalyst photophosphorylation or pseudocyclic photophosphorylation which involves the reduction of FMN with the production of oxygen. FMN is an autooxidisable hydrogen acceptor with the effect that the reduced FMN is reoxidized by oxygen. Thus the process can continue repeatedly to produce ADP. Since this process can be continuously self-repeated, it appears that a single molecule of water should be sufficient to operate pseudocyclic photophosphorylation to meet the requirement of ADP. 2. Dark phase, the pathway by which all photosynthetic eukaryotic organisms ultimately incorporate CO2 into carbohydrate is known as carbon fixation or photosynthetic carbon reduction, PCR, cycle or dark reactions. The dark reactions are sensitive to temperature changes, but are independent of light hence it is called dark reaction. However it depends upon the products of light reaction of photosynthesis, i.e. NADP.2H and ADP. The carbon dioxide fixation takes place in the stroma of chloroplasts because it has enzymes essential for fixation of CO2 and synthesis of sugar. The techniques used for studying different steps were radioactive tracer technique using 14C, half-life, 5,720 years, chromatography and autoradiography and the material used was chlorella, cloacal alga, and cenodesmus. These are microscopic, unicellular algae and can be easily maintained in laboratory. The assimilation and reduction of CO2 takes place in this reaction by which carbohydrate is synthesized through following three pathways, I, Calvin cycle, C3, 2, Hatch and Slack cycle, C4, 3, Crassulation acid metabolism, CAM plants, I, Calvin cycle. Calvin and Benson discovered the path of carbon in this process. This is known as C3 cycle because CO2 reduction is cyclic process and first stable product in this cycle is a 3C compound, i.e., 3-phosphoglyceric acid, or 3-PGA. Calvin cycle is divided into three distinct phases, carboxylation, glycolytic reversal, Regeneration of RUBP. Carboxylation, CO2 reduction starts with a 5 carbon sugar, ribulose 5-phosphate. Six molecules of this sugar react with six molecules of ADP, produced in light reactions, forming six molecules of ribulose 1,5-biphosphate, RUBP, and six molecules of ADP. Equation I. Osphate F5 ribulose, 6, 
moles plus 680p hosp 8 bib 5, 1 ribulose. The reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme ribulose biphosphate carboxylase, Rubisco. Ribulose 1,5 biphosphate, RUBP, equals ribulose diphosphate, acts as CO2 acceptor and 6 moles of RUBP react with illuminated chloroplast. The reaction is catalyzed. 6 moles of CO2 and 6 moles of water giving rise to 12 moles of 3-phosphoglyceric acid, a 3-carbon compound. Equation Glycolytic reversal, carboxylation is followed by reactions that involve reversal of glycolysis part of respiration. 12 moles of 3-phosphoglyceric acid react with 12 moles of ADP, produced in light reactions, giving rise to 12 moles each of 1. 3-diphosphoglyceric acid and ADP, equation 3. Kinase 12 moles of NADP.2 H formed in light reactions are used to reduce 12 moles of 1,3-diphosphoglyceric acid leading to the formation of 12 moles of 3-phosphoglyceraldehyde. 12 moles of NADP and 12 moles of phosphoric acid, equation 4. Acidehydrogen phosphate triose. In this way by the reduction of CO2, 12 molecules of 3-phosphoglyceraldehyde are formed. Out of these 12 molecules, 2 molecules go to synthesize sugar starch and other carbohydrates and remaining 10 molecules are recycled to regenerate 6 molecules of ribulose 5-phosphate. Out of 2 moles of 3-phosphoglyceraldehyde 1 mole is converted to its isomer 3-dihydroxyacetone phosphate, equation V. Phosphatacetone dihydroxy 3 aldehydoglycer phospho 3, 1 isomerase os phosphatri, 1 mole of 3-dihydroxyacetone phosphate react with 1 mole of 3-phosphoglyceraldehyde to form 1 molecule of fructose 1,6-biphosphate, equation 6. Aldolase 11-phosphatacetone dihydroxyaldehyde lyser phosphog 1 mole of fructose 6-phosphate and 1 mole of phosphoric acid is released from 1 mole of fructose 1,6-biphosphate with the help of the enzyme phosphatase with utilizations of 1 mole of H2O, equation 7. Adhosphip, fructose 6-phosphate can be converted to other sugars, viz, glucose, sucrose, starch, etc. In this way, the atmospheric CO2 is used in the synthesis of carbohydrates. Regeneration of RUBP, both triose phosphates, i.e., 3-phosphoglyceraldehyde, and dihydroxyacetone phosphate, actively participate in the regeneration of CO2 acceptor ribulose 1,5-diphosphate. The sequence of reactions are as follows, I Fig Two plus four equals six molecules of ribulose five phosphate are formed during the changes from equation eight and nine. These molecules changed in ribulose 1,5-diphosphate, RUDP, by the consumption of 6-ADP. These RUDP again ready for reduction of new molecules of CO2. Hence in this way regeneration of RUDP is going on. They are used in next Calvin cycle. In the overall reactions 18 ADP molecules and 12 NADF2 molecules consumed and one molecule of glucose, hexose, is obtained, 
1 NAD 2 equals 380p total ADP consumed equals 54 ADP. The whole photosynthesis can be summarized in terms of equation which is as follows, light reaction, pi ad NAD po 1800, 2, hatch and slack cycle, C4 cycle, quartz chuck and heart supplied CO2 to the leaves of sugarcane. They found that the first stable product is a 4-carbon C4 compound oxaloacetic acid instead of 3-carbon atom compound. The detailed study of this cycle has introduced by M.D. Hatch and C.R. Slack, 1966. So it is called as Hatch and Slack cycle. The stable product in C4 plant is decarboxylic group. Hence it is called decarboxylic acid cycle or DCA cycle. C4 plants are true xerophytic plants. The plants that perform C4 cycle are found in tropical, dry and hot regions, and subtropical regions. There are more than 900 known species in which C4 cycle occurs. Among them, more than 300 species belong to dicots and the rest belong to monocots. The important among them are sugarcane, maize, sorghum, cypress rotundus, digitaria brownii, amaranthus, etc. These plants have crants, German term meaning halo or wreath, type of leaf anatomy. The vascular bundles, in C4 leaves are surrounded by a layer of bundle sheath cells that contain large number of chloroplasts. The chloroplasts in C4 leaves are dimorphic, two morphologically distinct types. The chloroplasts of bundle sheath cells are larger in size and arranged centripetally. They contain starch grains but lack grana. The mesophyll cells, on the other hand, contain normal types of chloroplasts. The mesophyll cells perform C4 cycle and the cells of bundle sheath perform C3 cycle. CO2 taken from the atmosphere is accepted by phosphenol pyruvic acid, PEP, present in the chloroplasts of mesophyll cells of these leaves leading to the formation of a 4C compound, oxalostic acid, OAA. This acid is converted to another 4C acid, the malic acid which enters into the chloroplasts of bundle sheath cells and there undergoes oxidative decarboxylation yielding pyruvic acid, a 3C compound, and CO2. CO2 released in bundle sheath cells reacts with ribulose 1,5 biphosphate RUBP, already present in the chloroplasts of bundle sheath cells and thus Calvin cycle starts from here. Pyruvic acid re-enters mesophyll cells and regenerates phosphenol pyruvic acid. CO2 after reacting with RUBP gives rise to sugars and other carbohydrates. Mesophyll cells have PEP carboxylase and pyruvate orthophosphate dikinase enzyme while the bundle sheath cells have decarboxylase and complete enzymes of Calvin cycle. In C4 plants, there are two carboxylation reactions first in mesophyll chloroplast and second in bundle sheath chloroplast. C4 plants are better photosynthesizers. There is no photorespiration in these plants. In C4 plants, for formation of 1 mole of hexose, glucose, 30 ADP and 12 NADF2 are required. There is difference in different C4 plants in mechanism of C4 mode of photosynthesis. The main difference is in the way the 4C decarboxylic acid is decarboxylated in the bundle sheath cells. The three categories of C4 pathways in C4 plants are recognized such as A, 
Some C4 plants e.g., Zeamase, SACC harum officinarum, sorghum utilize NADP and specific malic enzyme for decarboxylation. This mechanism of C4 pathway in these C4 plants is said to be of NADP plus me type. B. Some C4 plants e.g., Atriplex, Portulaca, Amaranthus utilize NAD and specific malic enzyme for decarboxylation. This mechanism of C4 pathways in these C4 plants is said to be of NAD plus me type. C. Some C4 plants e.g., Panicum, Chlorus utilize pepcarboxycanase enzyme. The mechanism of C4 pathway in these plants is called as PCK type. Characteristics of C4 cycle 1. C4 species have greater rate of CO2 assimilation than C3 species. This is on account of the fact that a. Pep carboxylase has great affinity for CO2. b. C4 plants show little photorespiration as compared to C3 plants, resulting in higher production of dry matter. 2. C4 plants are more adapted to environmental stresses than C3 plants. 3. CO2 fixation by C4 plants require more ADP than that by C3 plants. This additional ADP is needed for conversion of pyruvic acid to phosphenol pyruvic acid and its transport. 4. CO2 acceptor molecule in C4 plants is PEP. Further, PEP carboxylase, PEPCO, is the key enzyme. Rub carboxylase enzyme is negligible or absent in mesophyll chloroplast, but is present in bundle sheath chloroplast. Differences between C3 and C4 plants S.NO characters C3 plants C4 plants 1. CO2 acceptor The CO2 acceptor is ribulose 1,5-diphosphate. The CO2 acceptor is phosphenol pyruvate. 2. First stable product The first stable product is phosphoglyceric acid. Oxalostate is the first stable product. 3. Type of chloroplast All cells participating in photosynthesis have one type of chloroplast. The chloroplast of parenchymatous bundle sheath is different from that of mesophyll cells. Leaves have Kranz type of anatomy. The bundle sheath chloroplasts lack grana. Mesophyll cells have normal chloroplasts. 4. Cycles Only reductive pentose phosphate cycle is found. Both C4 decarboxylic acid and reductive pentose phosphate cycles are found. 5. Optimum temperature The optimum temperature for the process is 10 to 25 degrees Celsius. In C4 plants, it is 30 to 45 degrees Celsius. 6. Oxygen inhibition Oxygen present in air, equals 21% O2. Markedly inhibit the photosynthetic process as compared to an external atmosphere containing no oxygen. The process of photosynthesis is not inhibited in air as compared to an external atmosphere containing no oxygen. 7. PSI and PS2 in each chloroplast, photosystems I and II are present. Thus, the Calvin cycle occurs. In the chloroplasts of bundle sheath cells, the photosystem II is absent. Therefore, these are dependent to mesophyll chloroplast for the supply of NADF and H+. 8. Enzymes The Calvin cycle enzymes are present in mesophyll chloroplast. Calvin cycle enzymes are absent in mesophyll chloroplasts. The cycle occurs only in the chloroplasts of sheath cells. 9. 
Compensatio endpoint The CO2 compensation point is 50150 ppm. CO2 compensation point is 010 ppm. 10. Photorespirati on photorespiration is present and easily detectable. Photorespiration is present only to a slight degree and difficult to detect. 11. Net rate Net rate of photosynthesis in full sunlight, 10,000-12,000 feet C, is 1,535 mg of CO2 per dm2 of leaf area per H. It is 40 to 80 mg of CO2 per dm2 of leaf area per H. That is photosynthetic rate is quite high. The plants are efficient. 12. Saturation intensity The saturation intensity reached in the range of 100-4000 feet C. It is difficult to reach saturation even in full sunlight. 3. Crassulation acid metabolism plants, CAM plants, this dark CO2 fixation pathway proposed by Ting. 1971. It operates in succulent or